trucks for garbage pickup after a disaster like this. Well, 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has that part of our coverage tonight. Throughout Metro Detroit, so many neighborhoods look just like this one. Flood damaged debris sitting curbside, ready to be hauled away. It's very hard, but ooh, we're getting through it. Marge Taylor carefully lays out waterlogged pictures to dry in the sun. Here's Ryan getting ready for football camp. She's hoping to salvage a lifetime of memories, but she knows pretty much everything else will have to go. How much do you anticipate that you're going to have to throw out? The whole house basically, except the bedrooms upstairs and the uh, the bathroom, but everything else is is just garbage. Marge's story is like thousands of other Metro Detroiters. Items they spent years collecting ruined in just minutes during Monday night's massive flood, and now it's all trash. Tons and tons. We're working every day. Norman Sala runs 866XS Trash. His employees are working overtime to try and keep up with a long list of clients in need of help. The days following a devastating storm can generate tons of trash. It has to go somewhere. We try to recycle at least 60% of what we collect, and unfortunately, a lot of the stuff has to go to the landfill. Here in Dearborn and many other communities, residents are not going to be charged a fee for the special pickup of the flood damaged debris. But there are different rules and regulations regarding what can be thrown out and how it should be put to the curb. So you'll want to go ahead and check with your local community for guidance on that. In Dearborn, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. And in